What's up, YouTube? Opto Info here, back with another weekly video. As you can tell, a little different scenery from my last video. I'm uh, downgraded to my car. Um, right now it's 5.15 or so in the morning. Uh, between family and work and studying and some recreation, um, I don't really have any other time to shoot videos. So, uh, yeah, but we'll uh, make do with what I got. Um, without any further ado, one thing I wanted to cover today was is the the three pet three part little, little, little three step test for it's the Parks or Bikowski three step test for when they have a vertical deviation. Um, so, and I want to make it simple because all the other stuff is real complicated. I'd make it simple so you can do it in your head. Okay, so the first thing we'll go over, we'll just do it by an example. We'll say it's a right hyper that's worse than right gaze and with right head tilt, just to make it simple. Um, so the, what you, the first step is you just draw two X's like this. Um, and these are, just, these are supposed to show the cardinal directions of the eye. Imagine, you know, this is the person. Um, so you always draw it like he's facing you, okay? And then if you do this a couple times, you won't have to draw it anymore. You'll just be able to sort of think about it and do it with your hands. I'll show you that too. But so we're saying um, it's a, a right hyper that's worse than right uh, right gaze and with um, with a right head tilt. So all you do is draw two X's and then you just encircle the, the possible poetic muscles um, and... Uh, and then the one that's got the three circles around it is your answer. Okay, and then you think about it later. So just draw two X's real quick. You don't have to label anything yet. Just draw the two X's. Um, and this is OD, obviously. And this is OS. Okay, don't forget that. Anyways, um, so it's a right hyper. So that means this eye is up. So that means these two muscles are jacked up. Or possibly this eye is not deviated up, but the, but OS is deviated down. So that would be these two muscles. So that's pretty simple, okay? Um, and then it, it's worst in, in right gaze. So you just circle the right side of the X, okay? Um, and then it's worst with the right head tilt. So then you just circle like they're, circle the, the part of the X as if they're tilting their head to the right. So that would be like this, you know, that'd be this part. It's sort of intuitive, I think. Um, and then the only uh, part, you know, end of the X that's got the three in circle, the three is circle three times is right there. So what muscle makes you look uh, up towards nasal, superior nasal? That's your um, inferior oblique. And of course, this is OS. So it's your left inferior oblique. Um, so that's it. It's that simple. So let's do another one. We'll do, let's just keep it, uh, we can sort of keep with the same trend here. Let's say it's a left hyper uh, with the left, I can't see that, left hyper, left, uh, worse than left gaze, and with left head tilt. Um, so we draw our two X's, boom, boom. Um, we're saying, remember that this is how, it, this is the nose and the mouth. So this is a, a left hyper. So here's OS, so we're saying this is up. So these muscles are paretic, or possibly these muscles, if we're because it could also be a right hypo. Um, and we're saying it's worse than left gaze, so circle the left side. It's worse than left head tilt, circle the left head tilt part of the X, and bada bing, bada boom. What muscle makes you look superior nasal in the right eye? Um, that's your right inferior oblique okay and then you can also sort of do this just without writing anything down if you were to be pimped in the hallway or something um, or, or in lecture and you didn't have any uh, anything to write on so I'll just do that same example if you <clears throat> if you so um, I sort of do it with my fingers uh, it helps me the visual helps me so a left hyper, so imagine two two eyes. I'm grabbing eyes. Get your minds out of the gutter. So the left left eye is we're saying a left hyper. Okay, and the person's looking at me. So this is a left hyper. So the muscles down below are the ones that are paretic. Or if it's a happen to be a right hypo, you know, then it'd be the muscles up here are paretic. Okay, that's worse than left head tilt. I'm sorry, left left gaze. So that's looking over there. So I sort of put my thumb 
to uh, my fingers are sort of, my fingers and thumb are sort of the encircling the encirclement um so it works over there it's sort of awkward for this part but i sort of do it like that okay so i'm sort of making my box here and works on left head tilt so that would be the head tilting this way so that would be um like an encircling this way and then also this way so that's that thing right there that this is the the, the answer and what is that um, it, that's gonna. This is the right eye, and it's superior nasal. So that's the right. In, this is the right inferior oblique. Um, so yeah, it's pretty simple. Summarize: draw two X's, circle all the predic, all the possible predic muscles. The one that's circled three times is your answer. Think about it afterwards. If you want more uh, uh, explanation on why, you know why the in, why. Um, it, the inferior oblique, the right inferior oblique, for example, is uh, causing issues with um, cyclotorsion, then uh, just just Google it. It's, um, that they can give you, I got to run to work, and, also, and, and you can find great illustrations online. Um, there's one where you, that's pretty uh, um, interactive, actually. If you just Google it, it'll pop up pretty quick. Parks or Brikowski, uh, three-step three, three test so, for vertical deviations. All right. I'll catch you uh, next week with another Opto Info video. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace.